Okay, girls, we're back. Girls, grade 11. Yes. Yes. You got so affected by the story. Yes, I feel yeah. like she does not deserve him. Yes, she doesn't deserve Gatsby. And also, he's he's kind of stupid because he fell in love with her once and decided to spend the rest of his life chasing after her. Yes. I like, guess he should have moved on. So this is the message of it. And as he said this, he 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 spent as Nick said at the end, he spent his life looking at the green. This green light was at Daisy's house, in front of her house at the beginning of the shore. He spent his life looking at it, dreaming of catching it. Catching it means catching Daisy, as if the green light resembles Daisy. She he spent his life dreaming of catching it and catching Daisy, which is huh. He, he he risked his life, yani. He lost his life for uh, her sake. He sounds sad. Yeah, me too. When I watched this movie, I heard yeah, it. I felt so in. When I watched this movie, I felt I angry. feel even the part where why he, there, got, he got riches yeah. because of Daisy. Yeah, yeah. Why those, why there are people who want to take everything and yet they, they don't feel ashamed of themselves or anything. I, I, when I watched this movie, girls, I believe me, I, I was so angry. <laughs> I even when I bought the novel, I till now I didn't have the courage to read it because I feel like I would feel angry again. Uh, do you see my PowerPoint, girls? I didn't uh, share the PowerPoint. Let's share it. Did you? Yes. Why are you recording this once we're just watching a video or whatever? Why did what? Why are you recording this? Yani, it's, uh, uh, I just recorded. I didn't mean to watch the, today. Yani, the, uh, I mean, I mean, it's fine, but I'm asking yani, because we were watching a movie. I didn't plan. First of all, I didn't plan to watch it today. If I if we were watching, I wouldn't have recorded. Yeah, but it is uh, a, part, a part of explanation, dear. Yeah, but it's better. Okay, so uh, girls, the second read on page 124, uh, we have some questions we want to discuss. The first question, Noor Badur. Read the question? Yes. Uh, Reread the paragraph beginning with line 12. How does this paragraph show the narrator's fascination with Daisy? Who is the narrator? Uh, her brother, Nick. Cousin, her cousin, Nick. Uh, her cousin. cousin, Nick. Yes, how, how he was fascinated of her. Go to line 12 and tell me, how was he fascinated, you know? What, what tells you in the text that he was fascinated of Daisy? Miss, which page is this question? At the beginning, uh, the question, no, we do. With the questions, girls, uh, I write it for you in the PowerPoint. But you are asked to study them. Miss, I want to ask a question. No. Yes. Miss, why did uh, her cousin always was with her? Yani, yes, dear. Yes, I wanted to ask why, this too. Like, uh, and why is the story told from his was, point of view? Because he, he uh, first of all, he is the one who watched it from the truth. Everyone said that uh, didn't know the truth of Gatsby. He is the only one who knows the truth, and he know what uh, Daisy did to him. He, he is the only one who knows, and he he got so shocked and he lost faith in America and the dream, American dream, and uh, this life, this fake life, and that's why he went to the psychiatrist. Yeah. Yeah. So, girls, how, so you know, how how did you know that he was fascinated by Daisy? Uh, you know, girls, when you see a girl and you are fascinated of her, yes, how did you know? Miss, he wrote, her voice compelled me forward breathlessly as I listened. Yes. And for a moment, the last sunshine fell with romantic affection upon yes. her glowing face. It yes, the glowing tears, personifying light, personifying light that was deserting her. Yes, read it, you know, read the answer. Uh, he described her face as glowing, personifying light that was deserting her with lingering regret. 
He compares the sadness of the light to that of children having to go inside. The descriptive language implies that snake is mesmerized. Mesmerized the, in with when you are enchanted, you are, you you are so in love with. And I didn't love her, but he was any you know, mesmerized, loved so much her the way she, her beauty and this. Okay. For the beauty and mystery of his cousin. Yes. Okay. Question number two, Malika. Yes, miss. Yes. How how does the portrayal of Miss Baker impact the story? Mm. Who is Miss Baker? Miss Baker is the, their friend, the woman that was sitting with them on the dinner table. Um, she she is a what kind of character is when she said to I'll give you a hint when she said to Nick, shh, shh, we want to hear. If you are at a friend's house and your friend is fighting with mom and you want to hear. She likes so, gossip. A gossip, yes. And what else, Malika? She is what? We say what about a person who likes gossip? Uh, she is curious to know what is there. Yes, so. curious and nosy. Nosy, yes. yes. She is a nosy person. So how does uh, affect the story? She is a friend of Daisy, right? When you are a friend yeah, of someone, you will more messy than it already is. Yeah, yes. It makes it more messy than it already is. It adds yes. um, intensity to the story. Yes, intensifying that they are all fake. All, even her friend is nosy and she doesn't care about her. Riti Malika? Miss Baker is a nosy gossip. Despite having just met Nick, she tells him about Tom's unfaithfulness and does not want to miss any of the drama at the party. Miss Baker's commentary gives Nick a glimpse into the inner lives of Tommy, of Tom and Daisy. Despite being Daisy friend, Miss Baker walks off with Tom at the end. In general, this minor character reflects the emptiness and hyperbole of the couple and their lifestyle. Yes, so yes, uh, emptiness and hyperbole of the couple and their lifestyle. Um, is it a kind of friend that you'd like have? No. No. Why, Chris? She's a nosy one. She was fake to Daisy. I don't remember this part of that she left with Tom. I don't remember. I, I remember that Daisy left with uh, with Tom. I don't know what uh, what uh, Miss Baker because I I can't remember the details. But Nirvana and Nancy, you, you read the novel, right? Who read it? You, one of you said that she read it. No, I didn't. Yes. Oh, Maybe not. Read it completely. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Third question, Mary Muhammad. Aisha. Yes, Miss. Yes. Mariam? Yes, sorry, my, my it, mic. It's okay, read the question. How does dialogue build the character of Daisy? Yes, the dialogue. How a dialogue creates the character of a person gives you an indication about the character of this person, how? When you, when you, you read... Tell about her character? Yes, when we read some of what she said, we understand more about her character. How? By the topics or things that she spoke about. Yes, when she discussed the word, yes, the butler, it tells you that she is a what person? Um, that she is shallow, maybe. Shallow person, excellent. She is a shallow person. And when, uh, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when she sat on the table after she fought with Tom, what did she say to him? You are a rose, such a rose, huh? Yes, she said to him, and he, he replied that he didn't think that he's a rose. Uh, yes. Hmm. She yes, used sarcasm, uh, uh, so. Yeah, yes, she was. So, she, you, number one, she is shallow from talking about his nose. Number two, she is... Uh, she gives fake compliments in order to get the, the conversation going on. She uh, faking it. 
as we said, social noise. Number three, she is sarcasm, used sarcasm when she said sophisticated. Oh God, I'm sophisticated. Uh, who said uh, at the beginning that she is the one who likes to be a victim all the time? Oh, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. Yes, yes, Yehuda, she is also here. A victim, she likes to be a victim all the time. Okay, read the Mariam, the answer. The dialogue reinforces the duality and shallowness of Daisy. When Nick says he missed her wedding because he was a tour, she immediately begins complaining about her own difficult life, min uh, uh, minimizing Nick's serv service to his country. She frequently uses hyperbole and sar sarcasm, and Nick ultimately feels alienated from his cousin and her world. Yes. Okay. So here now we have to focus on second grade. We have to focus on narrative structure, page 125. Teacher, did okay. you call me? I said, Ayah yes. Oh, okay. Okay, Ayah, are you here? Yes. Yes, read the Ayah, please, the PowerPoint. A writer is like Fitzgerald, carefully coalesce the elements of a story to create meaning and impact the reader. During the first read, you made inferences about the character of Daisy. Reproduce the following chart on another piece of paper. Answer the questions to help you analyze important elements of the text. Yes, yeah, so let's uh, 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 analyze the important element of the text. The setting. 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 Continue, Aya. Uh, what details give the reader insight into the setting? Uh, Tom, whatever, okay, what is he like uh, based on the little you read about him? Daisy, what is she like based on what you read about her? Yes. Conflict? What conflict does the telephone call? So let's, let's take a question by question. Let's take uh, the beginning, okay? Uh, the setting. What details tell you about the setting? Huh? What, what did you know of the setting? Hmm. Where, where was this story happened? Aya, the story, where, where did it happen? Ashani, where, Miss? What do you mean? Where, the place? Can I say? The story, where did it happen, dear? The story. Oh, okay. Who said I, oh, can I say, Sham? Yeah. Yes, Sham. Where did the story happen, Yes, Sham? Uh, New York. In New York. Where exactly? New York. Not. I don't want a, a name. Name. I don't. I want place. Uh, the place Can I say? Of, the place of of, of of Tom and Daisy girls. What was it? A palace. Didn't you see a palace? Yes. So when you see a palace, when a, a story happens in a palace, you understand that those people are what poor. Rich. No. Rich. Rich, yes. So the fact that, that they live in a palace, they have butlers, they have servants all around, so we can understand that they are wealthy and rich, right? Uh, girls, when when Daisy said, let's talk about the butlers, no, so we understand that she has a butler, so she is rich. When she says the the weather is good outside, it means they have a garden. Yes. So this so is a sitting. Yeah. How the sitting affects the story. How the sitting makes you understand stuff. Understand? Yes. Who can talk to me about Tom Buchanan? <laughs> what is he like? Based on the letter you read about him, what, what do you know about Tom Buchanan, girls? Tom is this his husband. Who wants to answer? Girls, please. Can I answer? Yes, answer. He abuses Daisy mentally, and he's a horrible person, and he's rich. Yes, <laughs> he's rich. He abuses his wife, is not faithful to his wife. Yes. Uh, and he's not polite. He has an affair, is he cheating on his wife? Miss, okay. can you see he's arrogant? Yes, of course he is too. 
Here, the setting, the setting, who oh, answered the second setting? Sham, read the setting, Sham. Me? Yes, Sham, read it. Uh, what details give the reader in where? It is the answer in the PowerPoint, dear. Okay. Uh, the fact that they have a butler and in stable in, in stable suggests that that the how Buchanan, do we say the Buchanans are wealthy the Buchanans are wealthy it is dinner time Daisy says it's very romantic outdoors so it may be spring or summer yes so the time is what so because sitting is where and when girls sitting is where and when so where at uh, the house and the palace when the spring or summer how did we know because she said it's romantic outside okay what do we know about tom buchanan who answered it dima yes okay read about tom buchanan Dima. tom is not a polite person he leaves the table without a word in paragraph seven and he is having an affair even though he is married to daisy he may be an unhappy person. He makes a suggestion miserably to Nick in paragraph 23. Daisy suggests that he is an absent father and a husband in paragraph 34. And Tom was God knows where. Yes, when she gave, yes, when she delivered the baby and Tom, God knows where and with whom. Now, Daisy Buchanan, who can discuss with me about Daisy's personality? Ah, uh, girls, who can discuss about Daisy's mm -hmm. personality? Sarah, are you here, Sarah? Who said me? Me, Miss Noor. Yes, I Noor. Yes. Okay, after Noor. Uh, what do you think of Daisy, Noor? That she is selfish mm -hmm. and self-centered, like she wants everything for herself. But yeah. she's also like lonely and sad. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Sh okay. How how can you know? You should have uh, sentences written in paragraphs, girls. In order to answer these kind of questions, you have should have evidences. So if we say she is superficial and uh, she is careless and gossips, when she talked about what you know, superficial. When she talks about the butchers, no. Yes. Number two, she is upset by her husband. Why? Because he cheated on her and yes, wasn't because, fair for her. Yes, you argue, she argued with him about the phone call. Yes, and uh, what else? When she said to Nick that uh, he reminds her of a rose, she is a per thrive person of what? She's fake. Yes, she is fake. She tries to keep everything in a fine and strives to be sophisticated she strives to be sophisticated to to look elegant and everyone loves her and okay okay so read you know daisy buchanan uh, well, daisy buchanan she is superficial and a gossip carelessly discussing the butler's past uh, para one she is upset by Tom's infidelity. Suddenly, yes. she threw her napkin on the table and excused herself. Paragraph yes. 9. Yes. Daisy is also highly social and wants to keep the, con uh, the conversation rolling. In an uncomfortable situation in paragraph 8, she praises Nick and claims he reminds her of a rose. Daisy, uh, Daisy strives to be... Uh, what's that? Uh, strives to be cynical. Cynical is sarcastic, girls. Cynical and sophisticated as she portrays herself as having seen and done it all before in the last few paragraphs. Yes, yes. I've, I went everything where I did everything I want. I lived this. Oh, sophisticated. Oh, God, I'm sophisticated. 
The conflict, oh, before we move to the, the answer, the conflict, what conflict does the telephone call introduce into the scene? What was the conflict of, what was the reason for the phone? How the phone increased the conflict in the singers? Who can answer me, please? Girls participate with me, Gala, where are you, Gala? Sara, Gala, Sara, Wad, Tia, Leah. Gala, Sara, Wad, Tia, and Leah. Yes, yes, yes. You are here? Gala, yes, how, yes. how did the phone yes. increase the, the conflict? What? The phone call. Teacher, I can't hear you, it's lagging. Let me uh -huh. fix my Wi-Fi first. Okay, Tia. Yes, miss. See how what conflict that does does the telephone call introduce into the scene? In the last scene, miss, before he no, died. No, 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 not before he died. The scene that we read in the excerpt when they were sitting on the dinner table and then the phone rang and he wanted to go and uh, and answer. Tom went to answer. What did the conflict happen? What was the? It shows that he's cheating on her. That something he, happened. Yes, yes, yes. And and it 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 causes a conflict between whom and whom? Between Daisy and him. Between yes. Daisy and Tom. Yes, excellent. Between Daisy and her husband. Then the point of view. The point of view. Leah, are you here, Leah? Wad. Leah or Wad? Yes, Miss. Leah. Yes. Point of view, Elia, how does next view of Daisy change during the scene? At the beginning, when he entered the room and he saw how how fascinated she, fascinating she are and he was mesmerized with her. And how at the end of the scene, he, he realized that she lives a what kind of life? At the beginning, he was mesmerized by her, her beauty, her lifestyle of living. At the end, he realized what? That Daisy is what? Who can answer, girls? Miss, can I answer? Yes, please. Uh, she is unhappy. Yes, she and is unhappy. And she has a messy life. Yes, and she has a messy life. So here the conflict. Conflict, Gala, read the conflict, Gala, from the PowerPoint presentation in front of you. The telephone call introduces a person-to-person -person conflict. Daisy versus Tom, also Daisy versus the other woman. Yes, and uh, Linda, read your Linda point of view. At first, Nick feels in awe of Daisy's beauty and lifestyle, then he realizes that her life is not what it appears. He feels uncertain about what to believe and is confused by by the secret society. Yes. Okay, guys. So this is the second read. Here is it. This is the writing homework on page 125. He wants you to do you feel as Nick does at the end of the scene that you have been introduced into into a distinguished secret society. You meet a distinguished secret society that they look, all of them look happy from the outside, but inside they are not. To which Daisy and Tom belong? Write a description of what Daisy and Tom's society is like and why Nick reviews it as, as distinguished and secret. Do you think Nick's viewpoint is accurate? Why or why not? In order to solve this, I want you only to write up four lines and your opinion in two lines or three lines. What does the author mean by distinguished society? Uh, distinguished is you can see it clearly. The most popular society in the in, in the in the country. Teacher. Yes. I thought distinguished mean someone who is really powerful and has a lot of money and things like that. Yes. 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 Excellent. The the fine, as we can say, the fine, the elite class that you. Distinguish is also that you can see, you can notice here, the popular. Okay, how how would it be? How would it be, girls? Uh, which distinguish is also means the special, the the high class society, special. What is ironic about it, girls? When he said distinguished society, 
What is ironic about this? Were they really distinguished society? Distinguished no. members? Uh, it was uh, uh, a good life? No. Mm. No. Yeah, so that's why it was a Catholic because they when looked he got, really rich, but yes. they were not happy. Yes, and yes, they had it all, but they are not happy at all. So based on the time period, what is the role of married women? Married women, you were supposed to do what girls? To clean, cook, work. Yeah. Yes, just live for their houses. But what can you infer about this in Tom's relationship? That it's not. A good one, not a, a fixed marriage, not stable marriage. Is Daisy truly superficial? This is an important question. Or is she playing her role based on the time period? She's a fool. Was she really a superficial girl? No. She was fabricating but, it too, right? Yes, uh, yes, because she says that she actually knows like how bad the situation is and she's not happy about it, but she's acting like she doesn't know anything. Yes, who, who was answering, Nancy? Or? Marie. Marie, yes, yes, Marie. Thank you for your... Teacher? Yes, dear. What does a distinguished society mean again? Distinguished means uh, special, uh, easily noticed, popular, refined, for elite. No, I mean, what does the author mean by it? He was distinguished society. Ah, this is the, the class society. This is the best society. This is the prominent society in the United States. The husband cheats on his wife and the woman doesn't love her husband and she acts like a fool. And she, he, he felt like this is fake. This is a fake society. Okay. okay. Uh, girls, before the period finishes, go to page 60 because we have to solve connect to testing for chapter three because you have a quiz on it and we haven't solved its connect to testing. You have to solve it as I told you. Page 60, please, quickly. Page 60. Are you with me? Who solved yeah. them, girls? I told you to solve them. Who solved them? Page 60. I did miss. Yes. Uh, who, who said I did? Me, Maryam. Yes, Marie, and, me, and Judy, and Judy, Maya. Me too, Miss. Yes, Miss. Yeah. Who, who, who says? Who says me too? Miss, you yes. said it's not necessary, right? No, I said it. I said it's so important, but don't yeah, attach it. Yeah. Uh, I thought that Miss. it's, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, if we didn't. No, work. no. So uh, okay. Show him. <laughs> what are you? Page 160. Oh, Allah, I said it three times. Not yeah, only one. They are all talking together. I can't hear you. Page 160. No, I'm not saying about today. I said it before many times. That's all for next to testing. Yes. Okay, number one, Judy. Number one, question number one, yeah, Judy. It's a school, the mountain, and uh, uh, the other excerpt. Can I answer? Yes, uh, Marie? Lujain. Lujain, yes, yes, Lujain. Question number one. Read yes. it, Lujain. Yes. Uh, the authors of both Source 1 and Source 2 would most likely agree with which of the following statements? Is it C? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is C. What is it? War can bring out the worst in people. Yes, in, with Inman and with the other woman who's uh, the soldiers of the army went and damaged her house. Yeah. That word bring the most worst in people. Question number two, Mariam? Sure, sorry, what's the page number? One, six, one. Six, one. Okay, thank you. Mariam, yes. two? Yes, teacher. Um, sources two is more concerned with which of the following subjects? A, human greed? Uh, human greed, uh, the, because they were greed, they only took the things and left away, or what did they do worse? D. Yes, cruelty, because they damaged her house, and they can steal and go, but they burned the houses, which is worse. Question three. Miss, can I solve? Yes, please. Uh, which set of adjectives best describe catchers in man's personality? 
A, humble patient and determined. Determined, yes, excellent. Question four. Can I solve it? Yes, please. Can I solve it? Um, yes, read. It's question. Venus. Read the question. Okay. What theme does Frazier de develop through Enman's character? War causes people to behave irrationally. War injures people physically and emotionally. War can bring out the best in people. War is fueled by human greed. It's uh, war injures people physically and emotionally. Yes, yes. B. Maya, Ms. question Anderson. five. Yes. Yeah. What quality does Mrs. Lund share with Inman? Mrs. Lund, um, the second story, yes. It is, yes, it is. Uh, this. They share absent-mindedness. Minded, they both of Enman and the woman. They were absent mind. Miss, uh, I said C. Ah, you said C. Um, uh, they were apathy. Both of them were apathy. Uh, yes. Uh, yani, uh, apathy means they didn't care. It's courage. Courage, right. excellent. Yes, courage. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were courage. How did you know that both of them shared courage? Uh, this is question. Because they both uh, mm. and they sacrificed themselves for yeah, their Yes, it is in the second question, page 62. Tell me which one, A, B, C or D. What? Mrs. Farmer. Turn the page 62. How did you know that both of them shared courage? A. Yes, read it. A. Yes, read it. I will miss me. Anyone? Yes, Yemai, okay, read. I walked to the gate. The, the, the Union soldiers came filling up. I hastened back to my frightened servants and told them that they had been. They so had better. Better not from her side. Yes, yes, it is. And then went back to the gate to claim protection and a guard. Yes. So this is the to prove that she is uh, the brave girl. Yeah. Yes. What was the answer to question number four? Four is B. Okay. So this is, uh, you called me before, didn't you? Yes, yes, Judy. I want to get water. It's okay. That's what's okay. the answer of number two? D. Okay. Okay, so we just the girls need to finish a re a third read next time, inshallah. When do you have your literature quiz? This is no, the last no, question. Hmm? Report B. Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. Okay, girls. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Miss? Okay. Yes. Bye. I just didn't uh, did want to ask you, Miss. I saw it and I sent it to you. This Which page. One? Oh, uh, the connected system. Thank you, Miss.